all right hey guys welcome or welcome back to another episode of one love one africa in today's episode i wanted to talk about the recent news coming out of somalia and all the flooding that has happened in somalia recently guys hey global warming is not a joke climate change is not a joke because these videos that we have been seeing these pictures that we have been seeing in somalia coming out of somalia have been crazy more than 300,000 people have been displaced by the worst flooding somalia has seen in over 40 years at least 29 people died following heavy rains that have inuated um multiple african countries across the continent somalia's national disaster management agency said on thursday november 9th and then thousands were stranded by the flood water and forced to seek higher grounds in areas like the town of luik where the juba river overflowed its banks dude these pictures that have been seeing come out of Somalia have been really, really crazy. We need to take um, climate change more serious. Our African countries, man, they are really, 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 really seeing the negative effects of climate change, really. Um, and, you know, all of us do not live in huge and high apartment buildings or places where they're high and you don't have to worry about you know being killed by water um we don't have those certain luxuries so our dictators our presidents you know african union need to preach more about you know protecting us and finding ways to protect us because at the end of the day we are the ones suffering you know if you are not living in a high-rise building you're going to be hurt by this water you're going to be stranded and we know most of us do not live in high-rise building do not live in in apartment buildings that you know are give us that privilege and not to worry about that so we need to find ways where we can handle um or at least manage you know flooding i swear to you guys like this water is up to the hips up to the chest like the water is so high and it's so intimidating. It's not like easy, oh, it's an easy puddle. No, this is like, it It looks and feels like a freaking pool level water. Like it's too much. It's too much. We really need to protect ourselves, you know. Um, That's advocating for our leaders to take care of us and you know preach about climate change and you know as we continue to see during the rainy season you know a lot of our african countries go through this heavy flooding this rainy seasons really forced us you know continue to force us to look up on our um our mentality about climate change you know what i'm saying us as african people we shouldn't be suffering like this you know because we're not the ones you know spewing amenities you know <clears throat> like freaking you know north america and china and all the so yeah we we again see the negative effect you know more harsher so we need to take care of ourselves you know definitely um guys pray for somalia pray for all of our, our african countries because rainy season is no joke rainy season is no joke and we don't have a lot of sewers you know that can trap the water and you know help us get rid of the water so we end up having water everywhere you know and causing such a menace all around us you know um flood flooding season is not fun you know flooding as a whole is not fun so we need to learn how to take care and manage you know when water gets to that point of being you know flooding so Again, it goes back to, you know, African Union. What are you preaching to our leaders? You know, our leaders, you you want to be elected, you want to be elected, but at the end of the day, you do nothing. You want to be elected for another term, but 
you see us suffering every rainy season. You know, we haven't learned how to tackle our problems, you know, and we will continue to suffer, you know, with things like flooding if our leaders don't take these problems serious, you know. At the end of the day, we need leaders that are competent and able to say, yeah, I see the problem. We are going to learn how to manage, you know, this type of water in our streets. You know, guys, when I literally saw the videos and pictures coming out of Somalia, I was disgusted by the amount of, oh my gosh, horrific images because it it's not fun seeing people you know, being displaced, you know, like more than 300, 300,000 people were displaced. So we need to take care of each other. We need to learn. We need to prepare because climate change is a thing, you know. So at the end of the day, please pray for our African countries. Pray, spread the word, use your social medias if you can to advocate, to show, um, our leaders that we do care and we want change, you know, pray for the 300,000 people that are being displaced because of this flooding. All right, guys, that's all I have to add. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.